Hi, good morning. I want to uh, introduce you to Chat Center. Chat Center is a new, a new company out of Archimedes Labs, which is addressing a, a major problem at this point in the history of the internet. And here's the problem. We live in a world that has elements of both the future and the past. The future is that there are now two billion people with smartphones who, for the most part, no longer sit down at a laptop or a desktop during their day. They're, they're mobile and their computer is in their pocket. At the same time, there are more than one billion websites on the planet. Pretty much every business has one, whether the business is a one-person business or a major global corporate. And consumers still discover those businesses primarily through their websites billions if not trillions of visitors a day to websites. And that gives rise to a problem because those website visitors do not have a business owner just sitting there at a laptop waiting for them to engage. The problem is how can a web visitor connect to a mobile business owner? How is it possible for somebody to come to a website, let's say for a plumber or a carpenter, and pretty much instantly ask questions of the business owner. Are you available tomorrow? How much would it cost to do X or Y? And so on and so forth. Uh, today that process is broken. Typically you fill in a web form and if you're very, very lucky you'll get an answer sometime later because the business owner is out on a job on his smartphone and doesn't even know you're on his website. Well, we've come up with a very, very simple idea. But a very powerful idea. In fact, so powerful that if any of you in the room today run a business with a website, you're going to want to be a customer of Chat Center before we finish this, this pitch. It's called a simple universal web address for chat, a simple universal chat address. Now, you all know what a universal address is. You all have at least one and probably two. Uh, the first would be a phone number. It's universal because if you tell me the number and I dial it, your phone is going to ring. And it doesn't matter whether you're in another country, on another carrier network, um, uh, using a different smartphone than I'm using, uh, your phone will ring just because I know the number. A universal address is one where knowing the address is sufficient to engage with the owner of the address. Well, now you know that, the other obvious one is your email address. You can be on Google Mail and I can be on iCloud. As long as I know your email address and I create an email with that address in it, you will receive my email. And in that sense, email is universal as well. Well, chat isn't like that. Chat is not universal. Uh, the history of chat has created uh, a fragmented set of companies that provide chat services either on the web or on mobile, sometimes on both, where in order to chat with somebody you have to have the same app as them and then once you've overcome that hurdle you then have to know what their identity is inside that app and then you can chat with them. So it is not universal, it's the opposite of universal. It's like in the old days of the telephone network when you couldn't just call a number, you had to first call the operator and ask the operator then connect you to somewhere else and they would have to plug in a, a cable in order to connect your local network to the network of the person receiving it and that may have to happen five or six times to connect long distance to somebody. Um, that's how fragmented and atomized and, and frankly uh, out of date mobile chat and web chat are today. So we've created a simple universal chat address where just knowing the address of the owner is enough to talk to them. No need to install software or do anything else. It makes you reachable on any device, anywhere and at any time. And it looks like this. It looks like this. Chat.center slash whatever your name is. And yes, it's a URL. A URL. And because it's a URL, it can use your domain name as well. There's 270 domain names in the world. 
and every one of them can have this chat dot whatever dot com or dot net or dot org or dot cn or dot uk it doesn't really matter just like you can have a www address on your domain you can have a chat address on your domain in fact more than one you can have multiple addresses one for each person if you like or one for each department if you'd like what that makes possible is this is a, a business owner having a coffee at a pizza this is her website she's a lawyer this is her twitter this is her facebook this is her linkedin by putting this simple universal chat address which is clickable in any of these environments, a visitor can click on them and will be typing a message to her that she'll receive on her smartphone or her Apple Watch while she's sitting there having a coffee. From the customer point of view, it will look as if she has a call center. In fact, her smartphone has been turned into a call center. Now, if you think about what URLs did for linked pages, you know, before the URL, there were millions of pages in books and magazines and newspapers all around the world which existed uh, independently from each other and could not refer to each other easily. And once there were URLs, there were now hundreds of billions of pages which were linked together, creating trillions of connections every day as people clicked on them. Imagine if URLs existed for every business and every individual on the planet. Imagine the connections between people and businesses, or people and people, that would be created by a simple universal chat address. So what we've done is we've turned names into links. And everyone has a name. People have names, businesses have names, government departments have names, and so on and so forth. And we've created three ways for the owner of a name to make it available for people who want to reach that owner. The first is very, very appropriate for any web environment. It's a click to chat button behind which is the universal chat address. And somebody just clicks on it and immediately they're chatting with the owner of the name. Secondly, there's a plain and simple URL. The good thing about a URL is it's human readable and therefore it's very appropriate to be printed or to put into video or on pictures and advertisements for example. And then the third is a chat widget which is appropriate for those times when you want the customer to stay in context for example in an e-commerce website to stay in the site but still be able to chat to the business owner. Those three implementations cover pretty much every use case. The good thing about the universal chat address is it can glue together the web and mobile. On the left is the website, that's what the customer sees, and on the right is the chat, that's what the owner of the business sees. Same with social media, on the left is a Twitter profile with a clickable chat link, on the right is what the owner of that link sees. It works from app to app, so if app A wants to provide help services to its users, it can put a clickable chat address in there and the owner of the business will get the messages on their smartphone and be able to help the users of their app. But it also can work between app A and app B. If both of them implement chat addresses, it's possible for, chat, uh, for, for app A users to initiate chat with app B users, making chat a horizontal platform that exists across apps rather than the one that's locked up in a single app. And it also works from email to mobile. It works both in email campaigns, like a MailChimp campaign, for example, or um, just in your signature in your, in your email. And of course, it works mobile to mobile, like every other chat uh, client. If you install our iOS chat client and take a name, and somebody else, your friend, installs our chat client and takes a name, the two of you can talk to each other through the chat center client app to app. In that regard, it's very similar to any other chat. It's got a very familiar user interface. It looks like iMessage, so nothing really to learn. And it also works on the Apple Watch, so it's very modern and up to date. We sell chat names for $3.99 a month, which is extremely cheap. Um, uh, in the context. 
the, the, there are competing services which offer web to web chat to a kind of a call center back end, which are typically about 10 times as expensive as this. Uh, and there are mobile to mobile chat, which don't really play uh, the role that we play and can't really be used for, for these use cases. We also do group chat now. So you can have a chat address that allows lots of people to chat with each other and with you simultaneously. And those are $9.99 a month. So how big could this be? Well, there's 270 million domain names on the planet. That is to say, people who already value a name and are paying for it. In this case, they're primarily using it for websites or email addresses. Now they can use the name for mobile chat as well. About a billion websites sit on top of those domain names. And about 30% of those billion websites are our target customer. That is to say, businesses who are sufficiently small that they can't pay for a real call center, but want to offer their customers call center-like abilities. At an average price of $3 per name, and an average number of names per site of about one and a half, because people typically buy their chat ID for themselves and for their business, like business.com slash help or slash support might be one ID and business.com slash name of owner would be a second one. So at a very conservative one and a half names per user uh, from about 50% of those 30% uh, of businesses, uh, of websites that are businesses, we think there's about 60 million addressable names that we could sell over the next five years. And at the end of the day, that is $182 million a year, uh, a month of revenues, or $2.18 billion a year. So this is a very, very large opportunity. We tested that with a proof of concept. We sent out initially 1,000 emails and then 16,000 emails to people who had registered a domain name roughly four months ago. About 50% of the recipients of these emails opened them, which is already remarkably high. And about one in 1,000 became our customers. We can replicate this experiment for 100 million people during the next 12 months. And if we do that, we will get around about 100,000 paying customers, which will create a first year revenue run rate, an annualized run rate of $3.5 million which by the way is about 10 times bigger in first year revenue run rate than any company I've ever created and, I, and I've created some successful companies. What have we done so far? Well, we started with a team back in November 2013 and raised some money a few months later to build an iOS minimum viable product called Chat Center. We then built a web minimal viable product at chat.center and more recently we turned that website into a full SaaS solution, a cloud service that can support chat across multiple platforms. We added domain name support in May of this year and we just released an Android minimal viable product into the Google Play Store. So we're set up now to be able to be cross-platform, global and grow. We want to raise $2 million and we want to do it quickly so that we can take advantage of this opportunity. This is the current cap table. Uh, we were incubated at Archimedes Labs, who are one of our shareholders. The founders have roughly half the company. Uh, seed investors have about 20% and we have an option pool for future employees. For $2 million, you can be part of this cap table. And if you're interested, please contact me, chat.center slash Keith for real-time chat, or keith at tiro.com if you want to email me. Thank you. That is our pitch.